All through the rest of 1838 and into 1839, Tsunino was desperate. She had never recovered from the illness she suffered in Takata, and her ailment seemed psychological as well as physical. She wrote later that she had intended to die. Giyu attributed her suffering to her personal failings. She was married, but the marriage failed due to her selfishness, and soon after she was divorced, her health deteriorated. What I really wanted was for the reader to have a sense of what it felt like um, to live in 19th century Japan. And I mean that very literally, you know, to kind of feel the cold um, that seeps through the walls in the snow country, or to smell the scent of the wood fire in the hearth. So it's that kind of experience of immersion in a different time and place that I'm hoping that the reader gets out of this book.